Hi everyone, Comic Viewer here, this time reviewing on Underdog, Disney Film Review. Now, as you know, Underdog is meant to be a 2007 superhero comedy film that was meant to be based on the cartoon series Underdog that ran from October the 3rd, 1964, all the way to March 1967. And the premise of the cartoon was meant to feature a shoeshine, a, a, a shoeshine boy like dog who could become a superhero to take on supervillains and basically had that sort of premise with animals and humans living side by side. Here in the film Underdog, it's mostly trying to be a more realistic approach from the TV series. And the premise of the film is meant to feature the dog, the dog Shoeshine, as a tall, as a sort of normal beagle. After being captured by Bass Sinister, played by Peter Dinklage, and his henchman, known as Cade, we kind of see how he ends up getting getting superpowers, and of course gets taken in in by. Jack and his father. Now, Jack's father's Dan was meant to be this former cop, but now working as a security guard. I feel his character is that he does want to try and be there for his son. He does try to kind of be there, there to sort of help him out. And I feel the point of Jack is that he's meant to be this kind of, like, how can I say, this kid who feels like he shuts himself away from the world. I kind of felt you could have had him having this other best friend character. This one who's interested in the superheroes and helps him get the idea to help help his dog sort of become a superhero. And throughout the film we see how Jack is able to help Shoeshine become a superhero. And you pretty much know the rest of the film. It's basically trying to stop Simon Boss Sinister's plan plans and basically him from taking over the city and the film I would say feels more like it's them trying to do their own version of Crypto the Superdog and this does remind me a lot of the TV series with basically Jack's character being similar to Kevin also Underdog being similar to Crypto Simon Boss Sinister being similar to a sort of Superman villain and so many other things and I also feel like as well when you kind of got the big climatic final it feels like they rushed it a little bit but it doesn't feel rewarding and I feel some of the actors do try their best like Peter Dinklage, Patrick Wolf also Jim Belskowski, and I feel the only actor I didn't feel put a lot of effort into it was the actor who played Jack, known as Alex. Now, I kind of feel Jack could have been interesting, It, like I said, having a kind of friend who's into superheroes, and him sort of getting the idea to help create the underdog persona. And I would say as well... Well, that it tries to follow the cartoon differently. It's trying to be more realistic with the story. And again, you kind of do have him going into a phone, a phone book at the end as a homepage to the TV series. And when you kind of got the TV set playing the old 60s show, they do pay a bit more attention to that. And I also feel when you've got Underdog rhyming in that, like in the original cartoon... It shows they at least paid a bit more attention. I just think, in my opinion, this film is a bit of a hit and miss. It's not really trying to be underdog, but instead, some of the ideas feel like they rip off from Crypto the Superdog. And I wouldn't be surprised if the per if the people who writ who written the script watched the, the TV show, or were planning to do a crypto movie. But to me, Underdog isn't the best entry. 
It's alright, not one of the best, but it still deserves a thumbs in the middle. Kind of alright, kind of okay, but really a major hit and miss. So, comic viewer here, signing out.